<laughs> Do you know, and this might be the one afternoon that we're not going to get it. It's uh, very unsettled, Clive, at the moment. Lots of sunshine and showers for our week ahead and breezy at times. Now, you often hear us talking about showers producing a lot of rain in a very short space of time. Look at this. This was last night in North Yorkshire. In an hour, they had 42 millimetres of rain. That's a substantial amount of their August rainfall totals. And it's only the 5th of August. And yes, there's more showers in the forecast, all courtesy of low pressure at the moment. Very slow moving, coming in off at the Atlantic. And these are frontal systems spiralling around that low like a Catherine wheel producing further showers. Now, the heaviest of the showers have been across the far north of Scotland with rumbles of thunder. They're continuing but easing away. We've got some showers across central Scotland and running down through uh, the eastern half of uh, England, but a little window of finer weather behind. And so for the rest of the afternoon, actually, it's not looking too bad across much of England and Wales. It should be largely dry and fine and pleasantly warm. Highs of 25 degrees. Some of those showers in Scotland Scotland still with the odd rumble of thunder and fairly slow moving as well. They will continue through the night into Scotland and Northern Ireland along with Northwest England as well. Long clear spells elsewhere, a slightly fresher night as well, a little more comfortable for getting a good night's sleep, 11 to 15 degrees. And so we start off tomorrow morning. Eastern areas should actually see a little bit of sunshine, but it's fool's gold. It's not going to last. That low pressure slowly meandering in from the Atlantic, driving in some showers to start with along west facing coast. But as we go through the day with a brisk southwesterly breeze, it's going to drive those showers further inland. Again, some of them heavy with the odd rumble of thunder mixed in there as well, particularly further north you are. So in terms of the feel of things tomorrow, maybe a little bit disappointing, I'm afraid, for the time of year. 17 to 23 degrees the overall high. There's more showers to come as well on Wednesday. It looks as though the best of the drier weather, perhaps central and southern areas, sharper showers into northwest England, northern Ireland and Scotland and with a light northerly breeze that's just going to make it feel cool as well when you factor in those showers. Here we're looking at just a maximum of around 16 to 19 degrees. Highest values of 23 and then on Thursday we get this lovely ridge of high pressure building, albeit briefly, best day of the week before more wet and windy weather is set to return by the end of the week. Where has summer gone? Come Indeed. On. All right, Louise. Thank you. Louise Leah there.